Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I had to stop and show you guys what I just witnessed driving by here at this VP Racing or VP Fuels gas station. I'm here in Panama City Beach, Florida, and I've been keeping an eye on the not only the gas prices and the diesel prices, but I've also been keeping an eye on the availability. I passed a few stations that have, uh, I just passed a marathon uh, on 98 and it had bags on a few of the pumps, so I'm not sure if they're out or why exactly some of the pumps go down randomly to put bags on them, but uh, I've just been keeping an eye out to see the prices, see uh, what the, the stations are charging, and if any of them are in any situations where they just don't have fuel or have a diesel shortage or anything like that that was kind of uh, put out there, proclaimed to be coming this summer from Love's Pilot J, the announcement a few weeks ago. But passing this VP Racing Fuel gas station here, and uh, I had to stop and show you guys what, what I saw here. Check this out. $5.99 a gallon for diesel. And this is not necessarily gonna seem crazy high, crazy expensive to everybody, depending on what part of the country you're in. But if anybody is in Florida, especially the Northwest Panhandle, uh, Northwest Florida, Panama City Beach area, uh, you know that this is high. You know that this is high. I don't know if it's because this gas station here, which is on Hutch Hutchinson Boulevard, I don't know if it's because this one is kind of like by itself and they can get away with trying to charge so much for this or if this is kind of like uh just like the old price left up from this past weekend memorial day weekend and they had some pepsi jam thing going on and they were just hitting people over the head for fuel over the weekend over the holiday weekend rush because what i've been seeing so far i've, I've for the most part diesel here has been 519 529 a gallon I've seen a few go up to 549. I've seen a few at 509. But 599 right here, I think, is ridiculously high for this part of the country. Now, I guess the bright side is they actually have fuel and they're not completely out. But you know, it's like why are why are they price gouging? Why are they trying to steal money from people when they don't this is unnecessary? It's not it's not needed. Um, you know, or is there more to this? as to why this one's 599 and maybe actually on my way back i'll be checking other gas stations on the way back and maybe maybe they're going up too so if i do see any on my way back west towards pensacola beach i will let you guys know if they're going up too but on my way here earlier today five 509 to 529 was pretty much the average and this 599 is a little bit a little bit ridiculous to me if you ask me i don't know if it's vp and they think that their fuel is better than everybody else's uh or if maybe they're just getting ripped off on where they're buying it to have to charge so much more than everybody else for it uh and as you can see there ain't that many people here filling up obviously this gmc denali doesn't take diesel but you know in relation the price of regular is is still you know relatively high in comparison to other gas stations that are going to be a much more reasonable price so let me know quick question guys let me know what y'all think because uh you know we were already told <clears throat> before this holiday weekend before memorial day weekend that we were to expect uh diesel fuel shortages on the east coast have anybody actually seen any diesel shortages are there any stations that are out uh, up along the uh, Atlantic on the East Coast, heading north uh, up from Florida? Have y'all, just let me know, because if not, it was a lie. If not, it was a lie, we were lied to, and they, they are trying to manipulate us for whatever possible reason it may be but it could be just for the simple fact that if we if we put this story out here in such a way that all right now we can charge more for it and uh or you know we can create a false panic 
uh, making people want to run out and buy things or jump online and order things and get it while they can before shipping comes to a halt. Uh, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I don't want to, I don't want to taint your 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 ideas or your responses with my opinion on what's going on. But I am kind of curious since I didn't get a chance to go up north uh, this week and this weekend if anybody has actually seen any real like real threats. Not like, oh, I heard somebody say that there was one that was out because even like the video I brought to you the other day the station sign didn't have the diesel price on it was off and some of the pumps had bags but when i went and pulled up into the station there was plenty of fuel and it was actually a pretty decent price i think it was 529 at that station for diesel so the question is is have you actually physically yourself witnessed a shortage uh, or anything of that nature to really make us think that there's some there's some there's some substance and some meat behind the story that they're telling us and um i think these people think i'm crazy i just realized i'm sitting here yelling in my phone at the light and these people are sitting here looking at me like is he yelling at me and then the guys behind me at the pump like what the hell is he doing y'all can't see him anymore they left but for real though if y'all have actually witnessed let me get out of here for a I cost too much, uh, draw too much attention to myself. People come up in here, ask me what I'm doing. Um, but let me know if you guys have actually seen any real uh, signs of actual shortages that we should really be concerned with and worried about. Or if you think that they were kind of just pulling our chain and messing with us just to try to get money out of our pockets. Because they know if they put the story out there in such a way, we're going to react remember uh the media they have the power and you know they they have power to make us do things uh that we probably wouldn't normally do or maybe not to the extent that we normally would or maybe as quickly as they would want us to so uh you know and at the same time if that's the case and they're creating this false sense of panic and fear and chaos then it's going to have a negative adverse effect at the stores for pretty much everything we buy as we rush to deplete inventories, driving up the demand while the supply remains low, allowing these uh, companies to keep the prices high and maintain these empty shelves and these shortage situations uh, to just uh, keep to keep inflation going. Because despite what uh, Jerome Powell and the Fed is doing to try to lower or, or curb inflation by raising these interest rates and trying to slow things down. Uh, I haven't seen it working yet. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. But either way, I appreciate the, uh, the feedback and input. Comment below, let me know. And uh, if I do see prices going up on the way back, I'll be sure to post that so you guys can be aware. Take care. See you later. Bye.